This video has been made possible by BenQ. If you're a digital artist in need of a professional grade monitor, then check out BenQ.com. Okay, everyone. Well, this is a very exciting fix in Autodesk. Um, I'm currently in Maya 2020 because I want to show you something that you're probably familiar with, something that typically will go wrong. And then we're going to jump to Maya 2022 and I'm going to show you that they fixed it, right? So what are we talking about? We're talking about the extrude tool, something you do on a daily basis, hourly basis, maybe every five minutes, right? Now, um, in order to demonstrate, let me just give you a very quick uh, example of an object. We'll take a polygon plane. We'll just uh, move it out, open up the ad grid editor. Let's go in here and let's give this uh, some subdivision. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna deform it a little bit. So let's uh, grab a number of faces here, B for soft select. And it really doesn't matter what we're making here. It's just to illustrate a point, yeah? So let's, uh, I don't know, rotate this. And then we'll take this right here, rotate that back. It's fine, yeah? You get the idea. So we've got this shape right here. And what we're going to do is hit B to turn off soft select. We're going to right click, go to object mode. Let's hit extrude and see what happens. All right. Okay, let's do a thickness of one. Why not? And there you go. Okay, let's have a look right here. Now, obviously that is geometry, cutting into geometry, right? Not good. So this right there, yeah? And sometimes it's just sticking out in weird places. And we got this going on right here. We got that going on right there. So this guy, we, oh, this is a mess. Okay, you get the point, right? And sometimes it's even worse where you got pins sticking out all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna export this exact same plane, right? And we're gonna do the same thing in Maya 2022, right? And here's our example. Okay, let's do the exact same thing. We're gonna hit uh, extrude. We're gonna set the thickness to one and hit enter. Okay, if we now look, you can see that the mesh is perfectly clean. Nothing wrong with it, right? Finally, uh, I'm so happy about this because if you are familiar with Maya, you know this has been a headache forever, right? So, so happy they fixed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, even though the video was very short, it's not about the length of the video, it's about the content, right? So that said, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you think this is cool, please share the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks. Bye.